On that note, uh, and I better hurry up, but Mark asked me about how to get a smokeless burn, how to get smoke-free burns. And Mark, there's no really good answer. And I'm going to tell you right now just by looking at your fuel. I'll go back to the main camera. Um, but looking at your fuel, especially in this image here, you know, one of the number one things is you're probably not dealing with dry wood. And so the number one way to get a smoke-free burn is make sure your wood is completely dry. And if you're in the Midwest, smoke-free burn there, Mark, is just your fuel. You know, I think your stove looks perfect. I think your stove is 100 capable of smoke-free burns. So I think your next um, approach is really going to be to really approach drying out the fuel. And that brings us to uh, to a great point by Belgian Gulch, who says, I get steam all the way till coal out, then nothing uh, but shimmers. And that's exactly right, is that is that there's often steam in the wood. And this is going to bring us nicely right into Fraser's question, because Fraser has a question about moisture in the stove. And one of the things I want to talk about is how any moisture in the wood, any moisture in the air, when you start to burn your stove and the stove is cold, in the firebox, you expand all of the gases with heat. They can absorb much more moisture than they could when they were cool. So they expand. The moisture is entrained in that gas stream. But as soon as those gases start moving through the stove, they're cooling. And at some point, they're going to hit the dew point And they're going to recondense. And so you'll get moisture in the stove downstream. And now you're heating up the stove and it's going to re entrain that moisture into the gases and move it farther downstream and recondense and it's a it's kind of a vicious cycle and so it's not until you push this cycle all the way to the end and up out the chimney and it's still condensing up the chimney that's why we like insulated flue pipes so it's not until you've really been burning for you know depending on the stove probably quite a while that you've moved all of that moisture out of the stove. Now, if your stove holds heat overnight and you are using it daily and it never cools off, you'll dry it out once and it will stay dry. But if you're like many people, you're going to burn it once, enjoy the heat, let it cool all the way off, come out the next day and burn it again. And every time you do that, you're going to go over that issue again and again and again.